Hi, today I have another topic to discuss with you. Should I get vaccinated or not? Why don't I get vaccinated? Before the vaccines were available to American people, I promised you guys, my friends, my radio listeners, I said I have four things to make sure I should get vaccinated. First, the presidents of the United States, both previous and current presidents, have to be vaccinated. Then that is 25% that I will be vaccinated. Well, in January, middle of January 2021, before the election, the previous president got vaccinated because he was infected by COVID-19 already. He understood what he went through with COVID-19. So you see, he got vaccinated. Then the presidential candidate, Joe Biden at the time, also got vaccinated. And I believe President Carter, President Obama, President Clinton, President Bush, they all got vaccinated. So uh, like I said, if all of the presidents of the United States, previous or current, got vaccinated, then I have 25% guarantee that the vaccines are good. Why? In our country, America, we protect our presidents. We want to make sure they got the best health treatments on earth. Am I correct? Am I correct? My next 25% is that I want to make sure Dr. Fauci also got vaccinated. He's the head of DCD of the United States. And if he didn't get vaccinated, why should I get vaccinated, right? The third guarantee, I wanted to make sure that the scientists that developed and produced the vaccines, they all have to get the products that they created, correct? It just makes sense to me. That was the third guarantee for me. So the last one, what is it? to make the equation equal to 100%. I also said, if the Pope and His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, Holiness, okay, got vaccinated, who am I not to get vaccinated? I mean, the four guarantees for me, the President of the United States, the scientists that produce the vaccines, the head of DCD, Dr. Fauci, and then the head of the religions, the Pope and the Holiness, they all got vaccinated. Who am I to say I'm above all of them, correct? So that's what I meant, 100% guarantee that the vaccines are okay to use. And guess what? They all did it. They didn't have any symptoms. They didn't get sick. Well, I did wait until his Holiness, the Dalai Lama, got fully vaccinated. That means after two weeks of being vaccinated. Then you know what? I started to register. So I'm telling you all of the guarantees that you can get from all of the very important leaders on earth. The presidents of the United States, past and current, got vaccinated. The head of DCD got vaccinated, Dr. Fauci. The scientists that produced the vaccine got vaccinated. The Pope and His Holiness got vaccinated. Who am I not to get vaccinated? My body is so strong, stronger than their bodies. Excuse me, that is too arrogant. Now I want to propose the new laws and the new change. It's good to give people the incentives to get vaccinated but you have to have a deadline when you tell people there's a deadline people will react faster make up their money faster or it will be gone no more lottery tickets no more chances to become millionaire and then there's a deadline for them to get vaccinated
Well, we all know that there are 481 incorporated cities and towns in California. I would suggest if the governor has set aside a million dollars or two and a half million dollars for lottery ticket incentive for COVID-19 vaccines, instead of giving just one lump sum, one million dollars or one and a half million dollars to one individual, he should have 481 winners. Each one receive $5,000 from each city. And he should include everyone that had vaccinated, not just the new ones, everyone since the beginning of the vaccination till now. Let's say we have eight more weeks to finish the lottery program. Each week, he should draw about 20 to 25 cities, knowing that each city will have one winner vaccinated already, regardless of the date, before the lottery was installed or after. Because the people who got vaccinated right away would feel, how come I am a good citizen per se, and I don't get rewarded. And for those who either were lazy or reluctant, they got rewarded. That is the wrong way to encourage people to keep up with the good habit, isn't it? So that's my two cents on this lottery ticket incentive for COVID-19 vaccines. There must be a date. Everybody has to be vaccinated. You know why? It's only fair. Everybody has the right to do this, the right to do that. I understand before the vaccines available to America. If you got COVID-19 and you transfer it to me, I couldn't sue you because we didn't have a solution. But excuse me, now we have a solution and we know it's a good solution, right? You don't care for your life, I can understand that. But I care for my life, for your life too. I got vaccinated. But because you don't care for your life and you affect my life, we want the Department of Justice to change the law that from now on that we already have the vaccines and people don't want to get vaccinated, fine. But if you transfer it to me, I get infected by COVID-19 through you, the unvaccinators. I have the right to sue you because I may lose my life, correct? What will happen to my kids? What will happen to my loved ones? We saw situations. A couple didn't want to get vaccinated and didn't want to let their children to get vaccinated. Boom, one day. The husband gone, just like you wake up and he's gone. COVID-19 took his life and the kids don't have a father anymore. Do you know what? I can be very compassionate, but with reasonable people, with the careless people, I cannot, I cannot stand it. Fair is fair. You don't care for your life. I understand. I care for my life. I respect myself. That means I respect you. You have to respect yourself to respect me. It's just simple like that. Go get vaccinated. You don't care for your life? Fine. Don't get COVID to me. That's not fair. I request officially to the President of the United States, the Governor of California State, and the churches of the Department of Justice to come up with a new law to make sure fair is fair. Everybody has to be vaccinated. You know, it's like having the car insurance. Every driver has to have insurance, correct? That's only fair for the other driver. So in case of having an accident somebody has to be responsible for their action intentionally or unintentionally otherwise as you well know the uninsured driver cannot drive his or her car and in this case of the covid 19 pandemic the unvaccinated person 
cannot get out of his or her house and is required to continue to uphold the shelter-in-place order. And that's only fair to everyone. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. But I understand there are some friends of mine who have health issues and they don't get vaccinated because they are afraid that the vaccines can interfere with their health issues. So how are we going to help them to, to get vaccinated? My proposal to you, all of you, as I understood, we have two doses, right? You have to get the first shot and the second shot. Well, for those people, why don't you divide it into four times, six times, each time either a quarter of the dose or half of the dose, depending on the health issues, and take it longer to finish two doses and give them solutions and hold their hands, explain to them just a tiny little thing into your body cannot affect that much and if it does affect then you have enough time to deal with it little by little but you can finish the two doses so that's my proposal to the scientists okay i want the law to be changed but i do have solutions for you and i hope that by september 4th 2021 everybody got vaccinated and I hope we will be out of this ordeal, out of this pandemic and normal life will come back again. And this is just to say happy July 4th and I'm very proud to be an American citizen.